Hey guys, it's Marina. I'm here today to show you how to make a really small mini, um, little mini journal. If you want a simple little journal that you maybe want to stick in your book, or if you're a beginner, this is a good, good way to start off. So, um, this is actually a challenge for my mom, because she really wants to make journals, but I think she's intimidated. So I'm going to see if I can help her out a little bit and show her how to do it really, in a really easy way. Um, Okay, so this is one where I already put the, I already have the picture on it. But basically, all you need is a piece of paper. If you want it longer or shorter, you can pick it however you want to. It doesn't have to be a specific size. That's the fun part. So you can just take it and fold it in half, and then then you have your little cover. I would, you can use regular paper, but I, I would say, you know, like, put something over the top, like a, a an image or um, a sentiment, which is basically just like a, a short saying, like, listen to your heart, or um, whatever you feel like putting on there, just something to reinforce the cover, that way it uh, can hold together better, better, wherever it goes. Okay, so I'm going to show you a easy twine binding method, and a um, easy stitch method too. And this is how I make some of mine. So, okay, so you folded yours in half, you figured out, you know, what you wanted and you folded it in half, and now you're going to open it back up and just measure, measure it from length, uh, sorry, width and height and all that. So this is going to be 6 by, uh, almost 4. So I'm going to get my cutting my cutting board and you want it to be just under six by f just under your measurements so mine is a uh, six by four so basically six by four so I'm gonna make mine or you can just cut it by eye you don't have to cut it with a cutting board so I'm gonna go ahead and put in like two pieces and I'm gonna make it just a a little bit under six. And then measure it again and do a little bit under four. And then I'm going to see how that fits in here. And that looks good. So you want to have just a little bit of space between your cover and your paper. So I'm going to put these over here and just do a couple more. for my mom. It's going to be her first time using the cutting board, so um, mom, it's really easy. I think if you want to and you're not sure yet, and you know, um, use a couple of scrap pieces of paper and it's, you'll see it's really easy to do. Okay, and I'll do this one more time because I have one more paper. Under six. Okay. So now I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to take three. Since yeah, take three and then I'm going to fold them in half. And if you don't want to waste your scraps or if you want to use anything extra in your journal, like if you have other scraps, like, um, <coughs> go ahead and fold these like I'm gonna make a little flip spot and if I want to make a flip spot I'd basically just put three folds or two sorry two folds and you can do this however you want to so you have your pages in here and I think I'll add a tag because I have a tag over here that I haven't used yet Go take this tag and fold it in half. Nice, sounds super chipper. I'm chipper, guys. Um. Okay. 
and I'll just put this one on the other side. Okay, so you have this ready to go, and then you have your little journal cover. So I'm going to get my twine real quick because I didn't grab that. Bad planning for me. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Just went and grabbed some twine. Sorry about my poor planning. So I'm just going to take a little bit off. And then... Okay, so... I'm just going to have it in half and do it... So you hold it like that. And then kind of just wrap it around. And then tie it. I like to do a knot and then I kind of do a bow. And then if I feel like really super fancy, if I feel like I want to do extra stuff, I might tie stuff to it or add a charm. But I just want to keep it simple right now. So then I'll just add a bow. Go back to frame. Okay. If you want to, you can go ahead and cut this shorter, and cut this side a little bit shorter. And you have your own little journal. A little, little mini journal. So you can take notes, or just have it in your purse, or put it in your pocket, or give it away as a gift, whatever you feel like doing. They're really fun and quick and easy to make. So you have one like that, and then you're like, okay, maybe you want to have a closure. So I'm going to show you how to do one with a closure. Hopefully this one isn't too complicated for me. Okay. So here's a little image I'm going to paste on top. But I'm going to do something a little different this time, and I'm going to cut off some seam binding. Make sure that if you use seam binding, or if you decide to use ribbon, that works too, that it goes around your journal just fine. But because you're going to want it to be able to tie. So if you want to, you can go ahead and tie it. Remember, if it's too long, that's okay. You can always just cut off the extra. And it's okay to have a little bit of extra space because your journal's going to fill out a little bit. So I would say tie it, you want to tie it like at the tip here. So that way it doesn't, you don't glue the image over the knot part. The kids are in there, gonna, someone's going to fall again. Alright. So I'm going to take my image. I'm going to go ahead and get some glue. And if it helps to know, if it helps you feel a little bit more at ease, this is my first time doing this kind of cover, so I've seen it before, but I've never done it, so here it goes. I'm just going to use glossy accents. You can use whatever kind of glue you want to use. I think I have a problem. I use lots of glossy accents and stuff, so... that down for a minute. That's pretty. I've never done this before, but it's really pretty. Okay, so um, that part's done. And so if you have some extra papers, my measurements were the same because I used the same bit of scrap paper. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one and fold it in half, like I did the first one. And get a couple of extra extra scraps. I'm going to cut these a little bit. And you can arrange them however you want them. It does not have to be a special way. It's your journal. You can do it however you feel like doing it. If you want to add some stamps, add some stamps. Do whatever you feel like doing. And then I'm actually going to use one of these. I think I'll use this blue one. There we go. Hmm. Alright, 
So now I'm going to untie this. And I think I want to use seam binding to sew this one in, so... Um, I think I'm going to do it that way this time. So just take this and make sure this is not in the way when you're sewing it in. You don't want to sew through this or over it. So I'm going to put this in here. And then let's move this out of the way. And I'm going to use blue. Okay, so if you know how to sew, you're used to probably um, pulling them in half. Or, I'll explain as I do it. Okay, so for this, basically, you don't want to do it like you normally do. For me, or I don't anyway, I try to, if you want it thick and stuff, if you want it really thick, then go ahead and do that, but I don't want mine really thick. And these are uh, doll needles, so I got them from Hobby Lobby. So I just pull mine through a little bit, because I don't want it to be all the way. I don't want it to be like this, like all the way through. I, wanna just, I just want it like this, so I can get this part through. So, how do I want to do this? Hold on a second. Yep, okay. Just kind of get it leveled out. And then go through the part of the back. Like, okay, if you want it here, like, you can pick whatever size you want it to be. Just make sure it's in the middle. And just poke your needle through the papers. And then just kind of be careful. There we go. Keep that out of the way. And then go over and do the same thing. Right through here. So this kind of might seem similar to the easy twine method. From here, you kind of do the same thing. Uh, you just tie it off. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. And you can make a bow or a knot. And if you want to, you can add a charm. Or I think I might add a charm after I tie it. Don't pull it too tight or it will rip through the paper. You don't want to do that. And don't make it too loose either because then the paper will be loose. So, I usually kind of just hold my thumb, my finger in the middle of the first tie, and then there we go. So lots of seam binding going on here. I'm just going to make a bow, like the last one. I hope you guys can see everything okay. And then, if you want to, you can pull this part over, over what you did, or you can just go under. Oops. There we go. And then you can tie it off. See? And remember, you can cut your seam binding, or if you decide to use threads, or waxed linen or whatever you decide to use. You can tie it off or um, however you, you can make it long and short as you want. Add beads, charms. So that's the inside. I actually have this part a little bit long so I guess my measurements weren't exactly the same. And if they are a little bit long just you can just cut them. Like I'll just cut mine. And you're good to go. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, not hopefully it's not too confusing. If it is, I'll have to revisit my my method. <laughs> there we go. That's better. All right. So you have two little journals, and it took about 10, 15 minutes. So hopefully you decide to make some journals and have a lot of fun with it. It's really easy. Mom, you can do it. You got this. All right. <laughs> um, 
Thanks everyone so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them for you. Alright, have a good day.